Hey, I thought I'd take a break from the Fight and Rage Marathon. I really don't want to risk burnout on that because of how much I've been playing it. There's actually going to be a local uh, gaming convention next week. And uh, they're going to have a bunch of setups for this. Uh, they, they told me that they might want me to bring mine as well. So I figured I should probably get some practice in. Uh, I pre-ordered this game like way back in June. Because I had Amazon credit and... I don't know, I haven't really wanted to play fighting games that much because they're so reliant on either netcode or a really strong, uh, you know, local community or scene. And <laughs> I'm sure you know, most fighting game netcode is, is garbage. It's, it's a pretty shitty replacement for, like, actually playing a, a human right next to you locally. But this game actually has really good netcode. Uh, I played with a friend who subscribed to me, uh, Enix Belmont. Uh, he lives in Boston. I'm in California, and uh, the net play was like playing locally. Uh, there was like almost no lag at all, so I actually want to put some more time into this game. Now, this isn't going to be anything you can't find anywhere else. Uh, I didn't really want to go crazy on this because I haven't played fighting games seriously in ages. Now, the roster sucks. <laughs> I think the roster is pretty terrible. Uh, there's lots of characters that are clearly just in there to promote the movies. Uh, it's not even necessarily about the X-Men because the Capcom roster is pretty weak as well. I, I don't really think too many people wanted Firebrand or Arthur back. Uh, Nemesis is pretty debatable. He didn't really get too much play in the last game, but a lot of that was because he wasn't that great to begin with. I think Flo was like the only person who tried to make him work in a high-level setting. And then you have the Marvel side, and a lot of this stuff is obviously just there to promote the movies. Now, in terms of the character's mission, playing uh, X, obviously, I'm a hardcore Mega Man X fan. Uh, Strider, zero, but uh, they put like even more emphasis on charging his buster, so I don't know <laughs> how much I'll play him. Dante is a, a no-brainer, although he's on like everyone's team right now. Apparently, he's like really good. He has good damage, also. Due to the new tag mechanic, uh, he's like one of the better characters because his super allows you to set up a bunch of stuff. So, I don't know. I have a feeling that they're probably going to do some kind of knee jerk nerf. I hope that they don't do anything like that, but I wouldn't be surprised. Chun is really fun. Captain Marvel has been called the Magneto function. <laughs> I'm sure you know that meme if you follow the, the marketing for this. Uh, Spidey's probably pretty cool. Uh, Nova. Uh, Gamora is a pretty obvious one. I haven't even tried her once yet. Everyone's playing Ultron right now. They're saying he's like early top tier. I think everybody is going to be good in this game to some extent because of the, the tag mechanic allows you to really be creative. Hulk. Hulk is strongest Oops. there is! Ass. Looking forward to working with you. Iron Man, you and who will prevail? So I'm going to mess around for a little bit, and then I'll play uh, one of the few replays, or actually one. <laughs> and then that'll be it for this video. Fight. Once I get a little better, I'll do some arcade mode and some other matches. Ah, almost. <laughs> The tag mechanic is a lot like Basara. One sanitarian was joking that they took the tag mechanic from <laughs> from Basara, our beloved dead franchise. And I, I think that all three of us, all three Basara players, would probably be pretty good at this game. They made the wave dashing a lot slower. I'm not sure how you wave dash in this game effectively like that. They said they did it because like. Barely anybody aside from the people in the tournament scene could really air dash effectively.
choice! Power level rising! Ultimate strength! So I haven't really learned too much stuff, uh, I've only learned a couple basic things. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and play uh, one of my replays here. I don't have silent buttons for my stick, so I would like to play through the arcade mode, but I think it would be uh, really disturbing for people's ears. Some people like hearing the, t the tapping of fight sticks, but <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Uh, I can probably do some live net play sessions or arcade mode or something, but you guys would have to be you know, willing to hear the stick on because I don't really have any other method of playing at the moment. Let's see if I can find my replays. Oh, it's not in here. Ah, here we go. I'm glad fighting games let you do this. You can you can play like Only one team outside of the pressure of <laughs> worrying about having the capture card on or streaming when something cool happens. You can have it saved here. You can see in the replays, uh, I've been losing a lot. I haven't really found a good team or anything. I pretty much just went like went straight online. I, I learned like two combos. Two B and B's. I was typing to him on Discord as I was uh, standing still at the beginning there. People have been doing some crazy shit with Chun. She looks like she's as good if is not better than uh, TBC Chun. Which I think is one of her best incarnations. But obviously, uh, really crazy combo characters in this, you can't really uh, learn them in like two seconds. So <laughs> I'll have to put in some training mode time. There's a closers beta this weekend, so I might uh, not be playing this too much. I want to get a little farther on that, but afterwards, I definitely need to get some practice in for the, the uh, convention on the 30th. I don't know how many people there are going to be like good or anything, but I'd like to be at least halfway decent so I can have some fun running matches locally. I think this game is a lot of fun. I think people are, are too harsh on it. The art style is not great. The roster is honestly trash, but the gameplay more than makes up for it. I'm having fun with it, even though I'm losing pretty much constantly, and I haven't really put any time, you know, into practicing and stuff. I can still win every now and then. My fundamentals 
from playing Basara and fighting games in the past has really come through. So I'll be playing this more. Uh, it, it's mostly up to you guys. Uh, if you guys would like me to, to just do some online, like unedited, or I can do uh, replay commentary like this, or I could do arcade mode or story mode, uh, it, it's up to you guys. You just would have to put up with hearing the stick because, like I said, I don't have silent buttons. I'll have to look into how much they cost and I'll have to see if uh, anybody can mod those locally in town. But yeah, let me know. Uh, I'll have more footage of this probably when I get some more replays under my belt. Catch you guys later.